Hey people, what is going on? I am the Broken Puppet and I'm back with another video for today. Today's a really fun one. I'm going to introduce you guys to my new brush set for Tattoo Space. They're the number one tattoo company for making tattoo flash and digital learning tools. That's Tattoo Space. I really highly recommend checking them out. I'm going to be using my new brush set as well as some other brush sets and showing you how he makes brush sets and stamps to make a really cool tattoo design in like next to no time whatsoever. Making it really simple, really straightforward, ready for you guys to use. So I've got ProGrade here and this is my iPad Pro. This is a 12.9 inch. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to start with the top, hows and he heads and how to's. This is my new set. There's 60 brushes in here. That's 10 animals from three different viewpoints, and each one has a 12 stage tutorial showing exactly how to draw it so you can do limited cost combinations. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to select my wolf side view. So I'm going to come on here, I'm going to stand this on, and boom, just like that, you've got a really cool wolf design. Now, this is really cool on its own, but I'm going to show you guys how you can get modify this and make this even better. So I'm going to bring this one up here. I'm going to come down to another layer now, I'm going to go back onto the brushes, I'm going to select a different set now. So I'm going to go for the uh, Essential Trap Flowers by Don Chuck. Really amazing set, it's got loads of traditional flowers and stuff. So I'm going to create a new layer, just up here, and I'm going to stamp this on. So, boom, got a flower. I'm going to resize this just so it kind of fits right. I'm going to put a little bit of an angle, I think, just there, which looks pretty cool. I'm going to select this, so I'm going to select the Session Tool just up here, Automatic. I'm going to drag this up, just so you've got a selection threshold, so it's up in the high 90s. And then once you've got that, there's a little button down here that says Invert. Now if you select Invert, it's basically going to select that part. And then what you do, you just go back into the previous layer, and you can just rub that out, and boom, you have perfect combination, nothing in the way. So now underneath it, I'm just going to go back onto here, I'm going to create another layer just underneath. I'm going to go back on that set, I've done Chuck. I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to select some leaves. Let's just say, let's go for which ones look pretty cool. I like this one, a really nice traditional one. So I'm going to deselect, I'm going to stamp this on here. I'm going to rotate this one around, I'm going to put this here so it's kind of sitting behind this. Shrink it down a touch, just about so. I'm going to go one there. I'm just going to duplicate this. So you've got another one. I'm going to twist this a little bit, just put that there, I think. So I've got two. I'm just going to duplicate another third one. Just make things nice and easy. I'm going to bring this over here. This one. You can put as many as you want. You can switch these up, different kind of leaves and stuff. This is just showing you guys how you kind of build up a design really simple. And again, do the same thing now. So I'm going to go on flower, select around it, click invert. So selecting the whole flower. And I'm going to go and add each one of these and so just erase. That is. So it's basically erasing a bit of this on top. It's just a really quick way of doing it. Boom, done, boom. I'm going to come down here now, I'm just going to zoom in, got my razor tool, just shrink this down a touch, and just a little bit, I mean you can select this or you can just erase it, I'm just going to quickly erase it, just showing you can do it, really simple, and then boom, you've got like a perfect nice little stencil here, so you've got a nice rose underneath, you've got a wolf on top, and you can go in further if you want, there's, there's endless combinations with these, that's the good thing about these stamps, you can just keep adding elements if you want, and that's, so I'm going to come up here, so the quick little way I went, I'm going to come on top, Let's go for da, 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 da. if we go for the essential astronomy, it's got to get a nice little sort of sun thing in the background. So you can see you've got all sort of stars and stuff, you know, moons and bits and bobs. You know, I don't want a moon, I'm going to go for actually, should we go for a moon? It is a wolf, that could be pretty cool. Yeah, let's go for the uh, thick crescent. So I'm going to stamp this on, just going to resize this, and I have this kind of sitting behind him like so. Just like that. So I'm going to shrink that down a touch. Bring that bit more up there, just so it's a bit more obvious what it is. I quite like that. And I'm just going to select all of these together. Just going to group them together, and I'm just going to rotate this a touch. Just so that's a nice sort of straight design. Say it's going like forearm or something. That fit quite nicely on there. And I'm just going to go to that face. I'm going to select that face. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing now, so I'm just going to go invert onto the crescent just to raise those bits and then any little bits that are kind of sitting in between that are still there just quickly rub them off and boom, you've got a nice crescent in the background and once you've got these, you've got them in the group, you can just click on the top, go boom, flatten and now you have just it all in one set, so you've got a perfect stencil there, ready to go and that's really that simple. That's what the good thing about, you know, these tattoo flash sets. They're just so simple. Everything's ready to use and you guys can use this sort of stuff. You know, and it's once you've got this, you can kind of sort of draw over it. Like if you wanted to turn this into another design, 
Say you want to do another wolf, you can easily just turn the transparency down. You can try over the top, modify bits. You can use the tutorial to learn how to sort of change different little bits, you know, where everything goes. Because the tutorials are really good, especially on the headsets, because it shows you where everything goes. You understand where the eye goes, where the hair goes, where the ear goes. You know, it's really good for just working out stuff. And the other brush sets are just perfect complements of stuff like that. You can just add a mix, you know, and there's new brushes coming all the time. I'm always bringing out new, I'm gonna bring out much more brushes, you know, in the future as well. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. But for now, I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna go reference. I'm gonna create a couple of layers underneath now. And this one, let's just quickly rename this. So this one's gonna be my, I'm gonna call this one a shading. So it's gonna be shading. This one I was gonna rename, it's gonna be my color. And this one, you can just quickly rename that's all done. It's gonna put it out line. It always makes it nice and easy when you have everything nice and organized so you don't know exactly what you're doing. And because you've got reference selected on the outline, anytime I select anywhere now, with this selection tool up here on automatic, it's gonna select inside these gaps, which makes it so much easier to shade them. So click here, right, and boom. That area just there, up to those lines, is perfectly selected. As long as you've got it selected and it's a high 90, so if you click and drag, you'll see this up here. As long as that's in a high 90, you're gonna get a really clean edge. If it's down lower, so if it's say about 80, you're gonna get little white dots. So if you get that, that's how you take care of that. If you're not too sure what it is, don't worry about it. It's just a bit more of a technical problem that some people get. So yeah, I'm gonna select that. That's some more shading. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna scroll down. I like to use the spray paint tool. So spray paint medium nozzle. I'm gonna come in with a black. I'm gonna come in quite dark here. You can go around that way if you want. So you get a nice fade coming underneath this way. You can go the other way if you want. You can go shading that way. Which I quite like, I think I'm gonna go that way because I like how that looks. So I'm gonna select there. And I'm also gonna select this little gap that sits underneath just there. So I'm gonna do all the black first, so I'm gonna shade in here. Boom, just like that, that's that one bit done. Select these little bits just here. I'm gonna come in just pretty much the same. I'm gonna whip that around the corner. So you've got this nice black fade, and, you know, and I like the spray paint tool because it's a really nice gradient effect. Um, there's loads of other kind of brushes you can get for this sort of stuff, you know, but um, this is just one I personally like to use. Gonna come up here. And the spray paint tool is one of one that already comes with progress. So if you're doing it, it's already there. So it's not one you have to worry about. So I'm gonna bring this black around here. So it's pretty much all around the outside. I might bring this up to the bit on the lip there, just so it kind of connects. And this part here, I'm just gonna bring this black around here. I might blacken that bit completely. Yeah, I quite like how it looks. Sometimes it's nice to have solid black areas. Sometimes it's nice to have fades. I really like how it looks with a sort of black. It just kind of adds an extra dimension to the face. And again, just here, I'm gonna bring this around. A bit of black coming from this nose. But because this bit's solid black here, I'm not gonna do this bit solid black. So you get this nice negative effect just here. And I really like that. Got a little bit of back head just there, I missed. Again, I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna get a bit lighter on this because I want a bit of color in this. So I'm just gonna bring a little bit of fade just across the top. I'm gonna do the same bit just on here. So I'm gonna bring a little bit of fade just on that bottom. Curving around there. And a little bit of black, so the top of the nose coming down. Inside the mouth, I'm not gonna do too much, so I'm gonna select here, inside the mouth area, so I'm gonna do a little bit of black from the top. A little black dish there underneath the tongue. And now just like that, <coughs> excuse me, all the wolf shaded in. And you come down to the rose now. You know, roses are really fun, and there's loads of ways of doing roses. I'm gonna start off just kind of how I would normally do mine, so really nice classic. I'm gonna come in with a really short bit of black, just towards this bottom. These little edges here, you can bring a little black like this if you want, which looks quite nice. I'm not gonna do it for this one. I'm gonna keep it really nice and simple. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna select here, a little bit just there, just to raise this bit off the edge. You can just select inside the area if you want, you know, using the uh, selection tool, but sometimes it's just easy just to raise a little bit. Again, I'm just gonna go hitch, so all the outside petals first. That was selected a bit there. Have a little bit just there. And this inside one just here. Now I've got that done, I'm gonna select these inside bits. I'm gonna select here, here, and here. I'm just gonna get this little curve just underneath this little over part of the leaf. Come on there again, just to raise that bit in there. I don't particularly want that on that part. Again, just here. Just a bit there, just kind of gives a nice bit of shade. 
inside the rows. And then if you come down lower, select here. If you've got this blue, it means you've actually selected like the line, so just double tap to go back. Easy fix. And if it keeps doing it, it means you're selecting too much. And just click and drag down and touch. You select the right amount. So just select these little bits of leaves just down here. I'm keeping it zoomed out. I would normally zoom into that and make it a bit easier. So if you want to make it easier to select it, just zoom in. It's that simple. A little bit of black bear just across the bottoms. Dead simple, just like that. And once this is quite done, I think we're ready for some colour. So I'm going to come here, kind of go to the colour now. I'm going to start off with the spray paint tool. I'm going to select red to begin with. I'm going to select the tongue. A little bit behind the eyes. A bit in the ear to begin with. So that's all the red in the wolf. I'm going to select the rose now. So I'm going to select these outside petals to begin with. Get this red. I'm going to get this nice kind of red kind of fading out. There's loads of different kind of ways to do it. I mean, you can straight it all the way to the edge, like that if you want, which is nice and bold. Um, I like to have like a nice kind of fade. You can have like a nice hard line. Just slip one by one so you don't going to get over the leaves. Just like so. Just keep building it up like this. I'm just going to kind of come off where we've got like you know those blacks I'm going to kind of focus coming off of those first making a bit of highlight and then afterwards I might just increase this touch and just gently go over the top just so you get this nice kind of red sort of like fade you know just so you got a nice bit of shading on the inside once you get that done you can select other colors so I'm going to come up here I'm going to go for a nice traditional kind of golden yellow let's say those bits I'm going to select this little part inside the mouth just here and maybe the eyeball Gonna fold that in yellow. I'll go for this moon as well. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice traditional primary. I like it. Get a little gap just in there. Now I'm just gonna stack these little leaves just down here. Just go click, click. Keep selecting lines today. Get a nice traditional grain. Boom. We get a nice traditional orange. I always like doing these little bits here. The tips are orange. Got a little bit just in there that I missed. Always bugging me leaving those little bits. These little bits. I think my mate's orange as well. I like to have colours just for our little bits. And then lastly, I'm going to put a little bit of kind of like a lilac colour just on the lip and behind the mouth bit just there. And I might put a little bit of it just here above the eyebrow. Just so the kind of, kind of colours continues through. And then boom, just like that, you have that. And there you go, people. You know, just like that with a brush set, you have an awesome tattoo design in no time. And like I said, there's limitless combinations. You've got all my sort of tutorial brushes. You've got loads of other people. You know, Kelly's got some really good ones on there. You've got Don Chuck as well. There's a whole bunch of others. You know, just go on there, tattoo space, check it out. You won't be disappointed, people. But for now, I'm a broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.